everyone has a story to tell. Mine is about friendship. This was taken about two and a half years ago near the finish line of a 150 mile bike ride to raise money for multiple sclerosis. Now I've done this ride a number of times, but that year was really special to me. You see, five months prior, I took a nasty fall while skiing at Beaver Creek. Here I am, sitting in a world of hurt, asking myself, what just happened? And, ouch. <laughs> I was then transported off the mountain and into the intensive care unit at Vail's Hospital. It was there that I learned that I had broken my neck and I needed to have major surgery to repair it. So as an outcome of surgery, I can tell you that I am now a proud owner of what I like to call titanium bling, which includes a few pins, screws, plates, and a constant reminder of what took place. Following my surgery, I knew that I would have a pretty steep curve around the physical part of the recovery, a lot of work to be done. But what I completely underestimated was the generosity of friendship all throughout. So the next part of my story, I'm gonna introduce you to StoryCorps. And to do this, I'm gonna invite a good friend of mine, Pete, to join me on stage. And we're gonna record a conversation about friendship. A little background about StoryCorps. Its founder, Dave Isay, is the 2015 recipient of the Ted Million Dollar Prize awarded to an individual that has a creative and bold vision to spark global change. StoryCorps' easy to use app enables two people to record a conversation. And in this conversation, they dig deep and they unlock those powerful stories that we all are holding inside. And with those stories once recorded, they are archived in the Library of Congress in Washington, DC. That is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record a conversation. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the StoryCorps app. I've already set it up, it's really easy to do. Our conversation is called, It's What Friends Do. And I went ahead and set it up and put in a few questions to help us along. So, you ready, Pete? I'm ready. My name is Brent Drever, and I'm 43 years old. Today is January 8, 2016. I'm speaking with Pete Palermo, who is my friend, and we're recording this interview in Beaver Creek, Colorado. Pete, when I called to let you know that I broke my neck and I was in the intensive care unit, what went through your mind? Um, <clears throat> my first thought was uh, I was in disbelief. It took me a few seconds for that to sink in, to understand what you were telling me, to really get a uh, true understanding of what was going on. I was scared, uh, I was afraid, and uh, quite frankly, I was a little mad. So you immediately placed everything on hold in your incredibly busy life. And you were insistent on coming right away to be by my side. Why? Um, once the magnitude of uh, what was happening settled and I was clearly understanding what was happening, and you were talking, letting me know what was going on, I knew I had to be there. I had to be by your side, I had to be there for you, for your family, and logistically, I started going through the logistics of having, getting up there, and you were telling me no. You were saying, you don't <laughs> need to come up here. Naturally, I would probably tell you the same thing, but you weren't thinking clearly, and I knew that I had to be there and I had to help. Pete, what, uh, what's your definition of friendship? 
No, I think there's a, I have a few, there's a lot of words to describe friendship for me. Um, things like uh, reliability, loyalty, dependability, um, unconditional selflessness, and you know, you and I have done a lot of things together. We've shared a lot of great times, adventures, passions. Um, we spend most of our time together planning what our next passion and adventure is gonna be. And when one of us brings it up, usually the, the answer from the other is yes, how, and when. <laughs> it's never no. You told me no, but again, the answer would need to be yes, how, and when. So I just want to say that thank you for being my friend, and you're a true role model for what friends do. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> so... So what we do is we've captured this conversation and we're gonna take an awesome selfie because it's part of the app. But that's part of the story. So we go ahead and say, use this, save. And guess what? This conversation is now being archived in the Library of Congress and it's on friendship. And this is a friend. Thank you.